Tension is good. We don't lead from the safety of the freight. We take up residence in the freight. Where change is happening. Where change is necessary. There we find ourselves in a unique tug of war between what was, what is, and what could be. We are faced with the reality that we are the catalyst in the moment. A tension ensues between our ambitions and our fears. We are tempted to bail on our goals, but discover that under pressure, our vision becomes remarkably crystallized. A hundred voices attempt to sway us. We find we must lean onto God with a faith deeper than we have ever known. See, change happens in the very place where many leaders flinch, fear, and fail. But the tension we resist is actually by design. You see, it tests us. It tries us. It conforms us to His image. The tension is necessary. The tension makes us strong. The tension is good. Let us pray. Father God, we just lift your name up this morning. God, we thank you so much for, for those times where we are just overcome with tension. Because God, we know that whenever we are filled with that anxiety, with that tension, that God, it requires us to lean stronger onto you and your word. And God, we are just so thankful because whenever we do lean stronger on your word, you are always there. You never fail. And we're so thankful for that, Jesus. God, I pray that your presence just reigns supreme in this place here this morning. God, as Mitch speaks tonight, Lord, that, that the words that are spoken this morning are your words, not his. And that everybody is here, that's here is blessed by those words this morning. It's in your son's sweet name, Jesus, that we pray these things this morning. And we all say, Amen. You may be seated.